This program is brought to you through the support of the following sponsors. A very pleasant day friends, welcome to another edition of Auto Review, I'm Ron de los Reyes and today I'm coming to you from the beautiful Cagayan de Oro City. This is the city of golden friendship and uh, we were here last year around September when they had the uh, Isuzu Truck Fest but now they will have their Fleet Awards Night and uh, this is going to be exciting because several customers of uh, Isuzu, Cagayan de Oro uh, Butuan, Pagadian, and the Polog will be here to receive their awards. Of course, our friends from the media have also flown from Manila to witness this uh, activity. So we go right into the awards night. Visiting Cagayan de Oro is always a pleasant one, especially when we get to do some driving in the countryside and in a place called the Hilayan Adventure Park in Bukidnon. We were met at the airport by friends from Isuzu Cagayan de Oro and we boarded the three Isuzu D-Max pickups. We then proceeded for a one-hour drive to Manolo Portage in Bukidnon, home of the finest pineapples in the country and a source of huge export income for the province. Hello there friends, ito po si Ron de los Reyes. Nagagala dito sa Manolo Portage, uh, Bukidnon. Saan po ang ating mga kaibigan from Isuzu Philippines. Isa sa aming mga sakyan ay ang bagong Isuzu uh, D-Max and uh, of course uh, we have with us uh, Robert uh, Carlos. Morning. Good morning. Hello everyone. And of course Ana Dalida. Hi everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Ito si uh, Malyari, the Bigotillo. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Nelda. <laughs> so andito kami sa napakalawak na pineapple plantation here at uh, Manolo Portich in Bukidnon. Ha? Walang katapos ang ano to, ha? plantation ng pinya. Yun nga lang, wala, hong, ano, wala pang mga bunga yung mga pinya pero napakarami nito. No? Saka dito yung masasarap, matatamis na pinya. But later on, during lunch, uh, we will have a taste of uh, pineapple. Doon po naman sa Del Monte uh, Golf uh, Club. For the more exciting part, our hosts brought us to the Dahilayan Adventure Park in Dahilayan, Bukidnon. The resort offers a variety of adventure rides including zipline. This is the longest uh, dual uh, zipline. Here they are! <laughs> Meantime, yours truly simply enjoyed a short hike at the pine trees section of the park. 
Mga kaibigan, nandito tayo sa Dahilayan uh, Adventure Park. This is really an adventure place. Uh, and here, mira tayong makakita ng gantong katataas uh, na pine trees. And uh, we'll take advantage of this and uh, walk in, in the area because this is uh, one of the rare uh, opportunities for us to go to this place. Ito, napakalamig ko dito ah. Kahit summer, beautiful, beautiful place. Look at those pine trees. Huh? Ang tataas talaga. Straight na straight. And uh, yung simoy ng hangin, napakasarap, napakalamig. Yeah. Napakaganda sa yung paghinga. Yeah. And uh, we are about uh, 3,900 uh, feet above sea level. Kaya hindi nakapagtaka na malamig sa lugar na ito. Isa po lamang yan sa ating... Uh, Pao Masyal, dito po sa bayan ng Manolo Fortich in Bukidnon. Then it was time for the much-awaited lunch at the Del Monte Golf Clubhouse. Here they serve delicious tasting steak. We were told that part of the cow's diet is pineapple, thus the sweet taste of the meat. It was time to go back to the city, but it was interesting to see a group of men transferring a house in the area, Bayanihan style. We had a short rest at Seda Hotel. Coming up, the Suzu and Madi Elite Awards Night. Stay with us. Auto Review continues. The Suzu and Madi Elite Awards Night was the main event for our trip in Cagayan de Oro City. And Madi stands for North Mindanao Auto Dealership Inc. and covers Cagayan de Oro, Pagadian, Dipolog, Iligan, and Valencia in Bukidnon. Before the start of these ceremonies, we were able to check their mini truck show at the service area, featuring the best-selling Isuzu Travis, now with the new side door variant, and the other commercial vehicles. The program had an interesting lineup of guests and awardees who came from various provinces in Mindanao and Metro Manila. Huawei Suzu Philippine Dealer Group, Northern Mindanao Automotive Dealership Inc., or NMADI, organized Fleet Elite Award Night to kick off their truck festival. NMADI showed their appreciation to their loyal customers by giving recognition to their top fleet customers. On behalf of Isuzu Philippines, I'd like to thank and congratulate all the recognized Fleet, fleet customers tonight at the Enumadi's Fleet Elite Award Night. You are one of the main reasons why Isuzu continues to be the number one truck brand in the Philippines for 23 consecutive years. I hope our partnership will continue to grow in your year to come. Isuzu Philippines and of course Enumadi will continue to support your vehicle needs. We are here tonight at Isuzu Cagayan de Oro for the Fleet Elite Awards Night. Isuzu Philippines Corporation uh, would like to thank and congratulate 
uh, Northern Mindanao Automotive Dealership Incorporated or NMADI for organizing this event. True to our tagline of your responsible partner, NMADI uh, will give recognition to our fleet lawyer customers for the long-time partnership and therefore their trust to the Isuzu brand and to support to the Isuzu brand. We'd like to invite uh, our friends here in Cagayan de Oro, especially the business owners uh, and the corporate people to visit uh, the Enmadi Truck Fest and see the latest uh, commercial vehicles with different body applications. And Madi is uh, really prepared uh, to discuss with you and to provide to you the best transport and business solution that will cater for your needs. Congratulations to the elite awardees of Isuzu North Mindanao Auto Dealership Inc. Auto review continues and one of the biggest uh, stories in the automotive industry is the turnover of the residency of uh, Honda Cars and Philippines from Mr. Nakamura to the first lady president of Honda Cars. Here's our report. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated introduced its new president, Ms. Rimi Yake, in a ceremonial turnover held at the Crimson Hotel Alabang on March 28, 2023. Miyake succeeds Mr. Masahiko Nakamura, who takes on a new post in Honda Cars Korea. I will move to South Korea, so I will be in charge of the Honda Korea not only the automobile, but also the motorcycle. Thank you very much again for your strong support to our business. I was very happy even during the pandemic period. We can still uh, keep the strong brand in the Philippines. And I hope please support our new coming, incoming president, Ms. Rie Miyake. Miyake held different management posts at Honda Motor Company Limited in Japan and handled overseas markets such as North and South American countries. Through the years, she gained expertise in automobile sales, parts export, logistics, and business planning operations. Miyake will be key to the expansion of Honda's business particularly in steering the company towards carbon neutrality for all products and corporate activities. First of all, I'm really excited for my new role and I am going to take over what the former president has done in this country and then I also wanted it to improve the, all the operation in sales and after sales so that uh, we can provide the value to the customers and the more satisfying uh, customer experience to the people in the Philippines. So that's uh, my plan. One of Honda's corporate long-term goals is to achieve 100% electrification of automobiles by 2040. Prior to the turnover ceremony, two Honda dealerships were inaugurated early in the day. Mr. Nakamura and Ms. Miyake attended the event at Honda Cars Kainta along with executives of Gateway Motors.
Afterwards, they all proceeded to the new Honda Cars Fairview, considered as the biggest Honda Cars dealership in the country. Gateway Chairman Markane Goho, Gateway President Raymond Basubas, and Executive Vice President Michael Goho welcomed the guests. The new facility replaces the original dealership located along Commonwealth Avenue. This is very important event for Honda Cars Philippines because you know uh, this is a new dealership that we have inaugurated. So what we did to this dealership is basically to apply the new visual identity of the dealers. Now, if you're going to see here, there is basically a new facilities, no? And we have applied the concept of uh, active uh, customer uh, reception, in which uh, the priority is uh, catering to the needs of our customer. You know, Honda has been known for that, prioritizing the needs of the customer. So we improved the facilities in order to focus on that because we would like to uh, really prioritize the needs of our customers. First, uh, I'd like to cite the new CI, new image of Honda. We want to be updated. And of course, it's bigger, more room, brighter also, in terms of the, the warmth and the presence. And bigger and better facility. Topping our news this week, the Shanghai Auto Show opened Tuesday at the National Exhibition Center in Pudong, Shanghai. New cars, hybrid and full electric vehicles were unveiled in the venue's huge exhibit halls. Hi there fans, it's Posey Ron de los Reyes. I'm here at the Shanghai Auto Show just uh, in the area of the Cherry exhibit. Uh, they have interesting uh, models on display here. This is uh, how I think uh, their uh, electric uh, vehicle works. So you just see the under chassis part of uh, a vehicle and uh, later they will have their uh, formal launch or opening uh, presentation. Cherry Auto International launched the new Arviso 8 midsize sedan, Exceed, Omoda, and other SUVs. The theme at the Cherry stand is New Track, New Journey, highlighting their mobility innovations and concern for people's safety and the environment. This is Ron De Los Reyes reporting from Shanghai. Clean Fuel officially opened its latest service and retail station along Sauyo Road in Novaliches, Quezon City. Motorists in Novaliches now have full access to Clean Fuel's products. This includes high grade diesel, Clean 91, Premium 95, as well as engine oils and premium lubricants from Motul. During the opening, customers visited Clean Fuel Sauyo and availed the discount promo of 3 pesos off on diesel and 5 pesos on gasoline.
Free VIP cards were also given away to patrons so they can enjoy Clean Fuel's rewards program. Present during the event were Brand Ambassador Dominic Roque, Clean Fuel Vice President Ralph Atienza, Clean Fuel Directors and Business Partners, District Officials, and Members of the Media. We're happy to be back dito sa Clean Fuel sa Uyo, Quezon City. Well, alam mo, it, uh, Clean Fuel, everything started here in uh, Quezon City with our first two stations, Clean Fuel uh, E. Rodriguez in uh, Barangay Mariana in uh, New Manila and then uh, Clean Fuel Congressional Avenue. So, that's yan yung first two stations namin eh. And uh, now we're back here in Quezon City. At masayang-masaya kami. Kanina pagdating ko, napakaraming customers. And uh, the road, talagang sobrang busy. We're very happy with this uh, location. Bago may sambahay, using their cars, dapat check muna yung mga hangin ng gulong, syempre, and then yung check ng water ng radiator before leaving the house. Hello everyone! Magpagas po kayo dito sa Clean Fuel well, sa U.S. Station. So, see you guys here! Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating mga motorists out there who has uh, always been there for Clean Fuel. You, all of you have helped uh, power and fuel Clean Fuel's growth. And uh, well, malapit na tayong pumunta sa Mindanao. Nag-iipon lang kami ng mga lokasyon sa Mindanao. But uh, very, very soon, we'll be in Mindanao. Clean Fuel Sa Uyo is located along Sa Uyo Road, Corner Valeriana Compound in Novaliches, Quezon City. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it and we would like to thank Isuzu Philippines Corporation for inviting us to be a part of this awarding ceremony here in Cagayan de Oro City, the NMADI Awards Night or Northern Mindanao Auto Dealers Incorporated Awards Night. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.